Hello everyone and welcome back to Phantom Brave with Ron Bloodwings. In between episodes, I did a little more dungeon hunting in demi-human dungeons. And now we can create a few new characters. We can make mermen, boars, mermaids, and werewolves. And because of the end dungeon event, I can also make owl ninjas and knights. Now knights are... They're not useful on their own, but they have a little something. <laughs> they have a little something that is absolutely perfect for Morona. And that is healing steps. And basically what this is, it'll per heal a percentage of the character's HP based on its level. So every time Morona would get a turn, with this skill, she'd get 10% of her health back. Which is very useful since, you know, Morona is always on the field of battle. But first, we need to get her more mana. And that comes from this fusionist. We're going to increase her mana with the Mana Monger. And just like how healing steps work, its effect is based on its level. So Morona will get 20% more mana. Now, this is where compatibility comes into plays, because if we look at uh, the blacksmith who also has Mana Monger, it takes a lot more mana for Morona to get a level 20 Mana Monger out of it. That's because she's more compatible with the Fusionist, who is a female character, and that just plays into a lot of the costs. Later in the game, when you just have more mana than you know what to do with, it pretty much won't matter. But let's acquire the Mana Monger. And now the level 1 Fusionist is no more. But now Morona, if we look over, has Mana Monger at level 20. So from now on she will gain more mana. And Ash, I believe, he's more compatible with the Blacksmith, but he doesn't quite have enough to acquire the Mana Monger. So basically, at any opportunity off screen, I will acquire Mana Monger for all my characters and we'll have a good time acquiring mana. But now let's create some more characters. Let's see. A werewolf, merman. Hmm. Let's go with the merman first. A hungry merman. Ernie. That's fantastic. And now let's create a werewolf. A fond werewolf. We'll be fond of him, alright. Media. Okay. Alright, now let's toss away. Snakeish is still here. Surely there's something else I can toss. Let's toss the mushroom. Let's summon them up, because we can't use them in battle if they're not on the island. Now, werewolves are quite good, because they, like Ash, have quick attack. Which means this level 1 werewolf would get a turn right as we summon him. But he would go after someone who's faster than him, like Ash. Now we just need to acquire a weapon for these two. And you know what I'll do now? That's uh, Ash's sword, so I'm definitely going to toss that out into the wood water. Let's actually make another merchant. And her goal will be to sell us things that are level one. Let's see. Go with the dagger. Let's be 
through all that. And a wide sword would be good. And since we don't want her to occasionally gain experience from our old man, we'll just toss her into the ocean. Let's uh, get the brick back in here. Alright, now let's get our two guys equipped up. Order. Alright, now let's watch the next cutscene. There's a job waiting for you at Bamboo Company. Please report to our headquarters ASAP. Bamboo Pharmaceuticals is your leader in world health. <laughs> Bamboo Company is one of the three largest companies in the world. It lists the headquarters address in Monotopia. Episode 6, Unexpected Reward. Alright, to Monotopia we go. Okay, look for the Bamboo Company Headquarters building. I think that's it over there. It's certainly big. Be the possessed Chroma. I'm President Han of Bamboo Company. It doesn't matter to me that you have freaky powers as long as you prove useful. I've got a job here, but you gotta be a hard worker and a skilled fighter, are you? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> You're hired. To the point. We're building our new laboratory in Verdant Guardiana, but monsters have interrupted construction. I see. You want us to go in and take care of the monsters, right? That's right. Reports say that the monsters are of the large and fierce variety. You can take care of them however you see fit. Be sure to do a good job. Alright, that's straightforward enough. So here we go. Another cutscene. I don't see anyone around. President Hogg said the island was deserted, and the construction workers have evacuated. Does that mean we're all alone on this island? Besides the monsters, I guess. It's worth it, though. President Hogg can afford to pay top dollar. He offered us 50,000 Bordeaux. I know. If we add that to our savings, we might finally have enough to buy our island from Sienna. Then I won't have to work as a Chroma to earn money anymore. Right. And you won't have to use your ability, so people will stop calling you possessed. Do you really think so? That would be wonderful. Hmm? Oh no, manticores. Alright. On this map, we got trolleys, which... have a very high equip rate on speed. Which will be very good in the future, but for now, we're not really worried about that. But I'll definitely come back to this map to uh, get lots of trolleys. Let's go! 
to make our Saber Kitties weed extremely good. Now we're just out of range. Yeah, it's just a 10% drop. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's do it. Since Ash has quick attack, it doesn't matter. Let's go. All right, I think that's good for now. And they all have 20% increased stats, but we're pretty well powered to get through these. <laughs> See? Not a problem. I think we'll come back here and, uh, confine our low-level characters over here to let them soak some experience. here thanks to his quick attack. Almost. That hurt. for our lobies. What the heck of it? Let's, uh... Have them take a swing. Let's see. Spitfire, huh? He must be a fire-based merman. Yeah, he's got nothing. Oh, she knows Mega Fire now too. Come here. Not quite dead, but Marona can finish this. Our two lobies got a couple levels. Hmm. What's that? It almost looks like a cane in a hat. The monsters dropped them. But they don't look like things monsters would be carrying. What could it mean? Yeah, it seems a little odd. Alright. Quick heal. And back to the next map. Alright. Now we got more manticores. A couple werewolves. So if I hadn't grinded out the, uh, look, it's a snobby granny, and she's got an area that no one can enter, being projected by that werewolf. Stay back. Grannies aren't quite as useful as old man, I want to say, for the reason that, uh, Unless you're 
engaging in friendly fire. Combine! They don't actually Combine! use their ability. Because when you engage in friendly fire in this game, you'll get what are known as dark points. Let's do it! And grannies will occasionally remove dark points from a player, or character I should yeah. say. Now, what do dark points do? Well, if you get 99, you'll get a special skill. And if I remember correctly, a title as well. But, I mean, it's not really that interesting. I just pretty much ignore it. Let's leaf toss him. Got a hefty ice weakness, but I don't have any ice magic. Come here. So he'll just get a whap. Ooh, that will hurt. Ah, but she's not down. Stage down. I forgot to confine our low views, but ah, no problem. Continuing on, I found the sign, and here we have another monster, Fenrir, which, like werewolves, also have the quick attack. There's actually several of them on this map. So I will probably come back a few times off camera and kill them so that I can then create them. Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's go! Let's pop our uh, bobies back here. Let's do it! Because the enemy will also just bum rush them, but since they're so far away, we'll pretty much never get close enough before they're dead. I do particularly like the uh, King of Beasts in this game. Because it's quick and cool looking. Like, I could basically just watch that all day.
he's got a hefty wind weakness. Just let these guys chill. They ain't doing much. Which makes this far less interesting. And I would have liked. So he's got two turns left. Start getting Maroni in position. Have to punch it. Yeah. But using Solemn Vow to just kill certain things is very easy to do. I'll just... Hey there. That's that. be the last map. And look, it's putties. Oh, you're Aha, uh -huh, I get it now. Get what, Ash? These monsters aren't monsters at all. They're putties. Putties live here. They transformed into monsters to protect the island. So that's why. Wait! We're... Yep. Even though they're putties, they still count. And here we have a dragon. There's a very big weakness to fire. Unfortunately, dragons have a very, very low presence on the battle. So even though they are quite strong, they're not really as useful as they could be if their uh, remove time was just a little shorter. Closer, I can come find some more things. Let's do it. 
I will actually Let's confine my, uh, witch later after she, uh, can get in range of that dragon. Since she has fire magic by default, she'll be able to really beat it up. Uh oh. Well, the base is down. So this could be a problem. <laughs> Time to move over here and Let's find some more people. Uh, let's, let's get Sebastian go. in on this. Let's get Marona healed a little. Alright, let's uh, yeah. be a little more serious. Him. And there's actually some fire weakness here, so let's do some fire slash. Huh. I'd hope for more. My turn! At least it appears to be stuck. Picking that up would be a bad idea. Let's move over here. Heal again. I'll have the healer also heal Marona because I forgot to re-equip her with her vase. Great! We need Morona to stay alive, obviously. Uh oh. That could be, uh, very, very dangerous. It's over! final attack next turn. Let's go. Here. But at least we can get our Saber Kitty back in the fight. Even though he's lost his weed, <laughs> meh, he'll still be able to deal some damage. some wonder pollen on these two bastards. Forget it. Ha! And now my saber kitty will be able to pick up Ash's sword.
I just hope I have enough power in my uh, squad here to be able to kill that dragon. Oh, it's my Saber Kitty's last turn, so he is not picking up that sword. Mm. The dragon should start moving in its next turn. My turn. And it is thankfully the last thing on the battlefield. She's not going anywhere. Great. Morona can at least pick up Ash's sword. It might just come to that. Oh. You know what? Let's, Let's go for it. it. They get 50% stat go. boosts from those rocks. Alright, they can at least scratch it. And they should distract the dragon from my witch as well. Let's go, Megafire. Oh, thank God. Whew. I understand. You were just protecting your home. Don't worry. I... Hold still now. Morona. Morona made her decision. I don't care about money. I want to protect the putties. She felt no regret. Well, you're certainly back soon. How is Verdant Guardiana? Did you drive off the monsters? Uh... What? Why aren't you answering? What happened? Morona? Uh, Verdant Guardiana, the island... The island is crawling with dragons! What? Dragons? Yeah, great big ferocious dragons. The whole island is a huge dragon's nest. Some have seven heads. Some breathe fire and lightning. A terrible <laughs> dragon nearly ate me. I'm lucky that I could escape. Dragons? Why did it have to be dragons? Dragons make everything better. I don't think it's safe to build a laboratory on an island full of dragons. So much for that! It's probably for the best. Hmm. Well then, as far as your reward... It's alright. I couldn't finish my job, so I don't need any reward. For the first time, Morona lied. Saving Verdant Guardiana and the Putties was far more important than earning 50,000 Bordeaux. Although she regretted lying, Morona took comfort knowing that she made the right decision. Yep, money isn't everything. One more cutscene before we end the episode. So much for our 50,000 Bordeaux. Why do you keep saying that, Ash? I didn't think you cared so much about money. Because, Morona, it was 50,000 Bordeaux. 
We could have bought this island, no problem. I don't care about the Bordeaux, because we were able to save Verdant Guardiana. Yeah, sure, but... Do you remember the putty that Mr. Canary asked us to catch? Hmm? Of course. Putty ended up back at the circus anyway. Putties are called the thieves of the forest, and everyone hates them. I'm called the possessed, and many people hate me. I understand what it's like, so it's my responsibility to protect them. I wouldn't say responsibility, but... Sorry, Ash. Whoa, you don't need to apologize. If that's really how you feel, then I'm proud of you, Morona. Yeah, it's good to stick up for those that can't Ash fight. knew exactly how Morona felt throughout the ordeal. He understood the feeling, wanting to protect someone no matter what the cost. A few days later... Ash! Ash! Why are you so worked up, Morona? What's this? This barrel washed up, but I can't open it! Let's see here... What is all this? Ash, look! Look at this! A putty hat? Yes! It's from the putties! They must have sent this to thank us for saving their home! This is great, Morona. We can use this to help pay for our island. You made the right decision. Yep. This is all so wonderful. Thank you. Morona had much to be thankful for. She gave thanks for the putties in Verdant Guardiana, for her parents in heaven, and for God, who created her with special powers. Yep. And with that, it is time to end the episode. This has been Ron Bloodwings, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.